Hey guys, I'm Scott Fleischman with Oxygen Frog, and today we are talking tanks. So let's jump right in. The surge tank holds your inventory of oxygen. This is what allows you to really crank up your torch when you need to. You need a minimum of a 60 gallon tank. A 60 gallon tank will hold about one quarter of a K tank's worth of oxygen at 125 PSI, and they're fairly common. Today we'll be using an adjustable wrench, Teflon tape, a safety valve, an oxygen supply manifold, a regulator manifold, various plugs, some oxygen hose, and at least a 60 gallon compressor tank. You can find all the parts we're using today on our website in the description box below. Since we're using them for oxygen, you have to be sure that it's free of any flammable contamination. Somewhere on the tank, there'll be a pressure rating stamped on it. This is very important. It tells you exactly how much pressure the tank can safely hold. Which brings us next to the safety valve. The safety valve is a pressure relief valve in case you come close to exceeding the tank's pressure rating. This prevents you from overpressurizing the tank. Make sure that your safety valve's pressure rating does not exceed the pressure rating on the tank. Please be careful not to over tighten the safety valve when installing it. You could damage it and cause it to leak. There are a couple of different manifolds that you'll need to set up your tank. The oxygen supply manifold and the oxygen regulator manifold. You can purchase these pre-made from our website. We included a link below. Install the oxygen supply manifold on the top of the tank, nice and tight. It comes with two B-size oxygen hose fittings with shutoff valves. Let's go ahead and put them in the closed position for now. Let's connect one side securely to the legacy. And go ahead and open only the legacy valve. This is the regulator manifold. Make sure the valve is closed. This is where you will install your torch's oxygen regulator. I recommend, if you remember, to close this valve at the end of your day, just in case your torch itself has any leaks. The Legacy will fill the surge tank up and shut itself off automatically. The other hose connection on the oxygen supply manifold we could use in the future to connect another storage tank for increased surge capacity. We could even use this to connect a K-Tank with a regulator as the ultimate oxygen backup. Once you get everything connected, make sure to do a leak test. Get some soapy water or window cleaner to spray on your connection. Bubbles will reveal any unseen leaks. Go ahead and tighten them down if you need to and make sure everything is airtight. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure, if you haven't already, to hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram and check out our new and improved website. As always, ribbit, ribbit, rage it.